Andrew Jackson was a man of many emotional states, but he usually saw things by force. The election of 1828 between Andrew Jackson and John Quincy Adams was known to be quite a bitter one. Jackson's campaign mainly stated that he could fight, unlike Quincy, who could riot. Quincy's campaign mainly stated that Jackson was a killer, which many times he was. Nonetheless, Jackson won the election and became the seventh president of the United States. This made Jackson feel unstoppable and full of power. The winning of the election made Jackson feel as though he was king and took a lot of the power from the executive branch. Congress established the Second National Bank, but Jackson was against the bank because he thought the bank would use its money to go against his re-election in 1836. This angered Jackson, so he vetoed the use of the National Bank. The political war that arose over the bank helped Jackson's opponents to define their identity and create a new political party, the Whigs. The Whigs mainly came from the old National Republicans. The Whigs saw themselves as defenders of the Constitution against executive despotism. Because Jackson was a very selfish man, he wanted no other party to succeed and would do anything to make sure that happened. In 1828, Congress passed the Tariff of 1828, which raised taxes on imports manufactured goods made out of wool and iron. This angered South Carolina, so South Carolina's legislature wanted to nullify it. So Congress passed a new tariff in 1832, which ended with southern states nullifying it. Jackson was very angry about this, so he passed the Force Act, which allowed him to use forces like the Army and Navy to collect the taxes. Jackson used his fighting with fire attitude to gain land by kicking out the Native Indians. He then forced them to leave their land and move to Oklahoma. This led to the Trail of Tears. At this time, Jackson felt accomplished as he felt he was helping the southern states.